Meanwhile, in Renton, health officials confirmed 30 positive cases at the Red Lion Hotel. That hotel is being used to house 200 homeless people during the pandemic. Our Tony Black spoke with the director overseeing things there about the positive cases and why they believe using hotels not only helps slow the spread of the virus, but could be a step toward ending homelessness. Public Health Seattle King County officials say 30 positive cases of the coronavirus have been found at the Red Lion Hotel in Renton this month. What we're hoping we actually are on the other side of this. Noah Fay is with the Downtown Emergency Service Center, which is overseeing things at the hotel for King County. All cases have been effectively, nearly every single case has been asymptomatic, um, and every, so far everybody has returned to, to full health. Fay says the homeless individuals staying at the hotel are all tested regularly through the Seattle flu study six days a week of regular proactive surveillance testing, um, which is really remarkable, which is not something that we have access to in any of our other locations. Cases are rising quickly. A State Department of Health report shows 192 reports of coronavirus cases among those experiencing homelessness have been made since the pandemic began. But in the last week, there's been 108 reports, an uptick Fay calls alarming. We are just seeing COVID is really pretty much in all corners of our community right now. He says he hopes the recent cases at Red Lion don't undermine what they've learned during the pandemic, that hotels are a solution to offering shelter. Are you able to share with us the response has been from those that are staying there? It's an absolute game changer for people's ability to recover and live a healthier life. Faye says he was disappointed by the Renton City Council's emergency ordinance passed last month to have those staying at the hotel gone by the end of next year. The people that are most anxious about that city council vote are the people staying at the shelter themselves. Um, we don't have a good answer for where they're going to go um, in June, and that's a really difficult thing to have to uh, tell somebody when they ask, where do I go in June? And we have to say, we don't know. Tony Black, King 5 News.